This video describes the installation and operation of the new bandsaw laser system. The bandsaw laser system attaches to the top wheel housing on your bandsaw to project a red laser beam onto your work surface to mark the exact path of your bandsaw blade on the board you are cutting. We originally designed the bandsaw laser system to indicate the exact position of the bandsaw blade when we are cutting wedges for segmented wood turning using the AccuWedge system. This will later be demonstrated. We have also used the bandsaw laser system with the AccuSlot system to determine the exact position of the slots when producing Celtic ring patterns, and this will also be demonstrated. However, the bandsaw laser system is an additional safety feature for your bandsaw. It enables you to know the exact path of your bandsaw blade on the boards you are cutting, so you can extra care to keep your hands and fingers far removed from the path of the bandsaw blade. The bandsaw laser system consists of the line laser module, the aluminum offset bracket with two magnets, and the battery case with an on-off switch. The bandsaw laser system consists of a red line laser module mounted in aluminum offset mounting bracket. Magnets are attached to the bracket to enable the bandsaw laser system to be attached to the top bandsaw wheel housing. The magnets hold the bandsaw laser on the wheel housing of the bandsaw and it does not require the drilling of any mounting holes. However, if you desire, these magnets can be removed from the bracket and the bracket laser can be mounted directly on the bandsaw housing. However, this will require the drilling of holes into the side of your bandsaw top wheel housing. The alignment of the laser beam would be more difficult with this type of installation. The bandsaw laser system is comprised of three components the laser, the aluminum mounting bracket, and the battery case. The laser is a red 650 nanometer 5 milliwatt line laser encased in a 1 half inch diameter cylinder that mounts in the offset mounting bracket with a set screw for mounting and holding the laser in place. Please remember to use care when operating the laser to avoid eye exposure since this is an intense laser beam that can cause eye damage if handled improperly. The battery case requires two AA batteries to power the laser, which are not included with the system. The battery case includes an on-off switch and is attached to the laser cylinder and bracket by a short electrical connecting cable. The battery case mounts into the bandsaw housing with a Velcro strip which is included with the system. By mounting this battery pack independent of the laser beam, this will avoid any chance of moving the laser beam when turning the laser off and on. To begin the installation of the bandsaw laser system, I mounted my AccuSlice table and rail to my bandsaw, locked it in place, then I took a piece of scrap wood and cut halfway through this board on my bandsaw just to create a, a line, a straight parallel line that I used to align my bandsaw laser beam in the next couple of steps. After that, you take your uh, bandsaw laser system, make sure you've installed your batteries, uh, and we're ready to mount this on the bandsaw. If not already done so, attach the laser cylinder into this offset aluminum bracket and lightly tighten with a small set screw. The magnets are attached to the bracket with screws and nuts. Make sure the screws and nuts holding the magnet are tight before proceeding. Next we want to attach this magnet to the approximate location it's going to be on the bandsaw uh, housing. Be careful, these magnets are quite strong, so keep your fingers away from the magnets because you can pinch your fingers if you're not careful. So I'm just positioning this close to my bandsaw blades here. So I'm just going to get it close and get it in position. This can all be you know, slid to get it to the accurate position. Now I've attached some uh, Velcro to my battery case, which is above the laser system, and I'm just mounting that as such. Turn on the switch in the laser to project the laser beam down onto the work surface. The next few steps take a little manipulation of this bandsaw laser system to perfectly align the laser. The system has three degrees of motion to enable the alignment of the laser beam on the bandsaw. First of all, you can move the L bracket left or right to move the beam. You can also rotate this. And the third rotation is you can loosen the set screw on the laser and rotate the laser beam and then lock it back in place. And use those three uh, degrees of motion to align the laser beam perfectly. And what we're going to do here, we want to get this bandsaw 
laser aligned such that the laser beam hits all the teeth on the bandsaw blade and it's perfectly straight in line with a cut we made in our board. So I can, either, I can move this thing back and forth, I can rotate it, and I can also rotate the laser beam. So I move this back and forth where I'm hitting the teeth. My laser's off a little bit, so I gotta adjust my laser beam to get it perfectly straight. Now I'm off a little bit. And it's perfectly aligned. So my laser beam is hitting all my teeth on my bandsaw. It's going through the kerf. And if I actually look through the slit that I made, my kerf slit, I actually can see the laser beam reflecting off the bandsaw table. So that's perfectly aligned. So no matter what thickness my board is, my laser beam will be exactly where I'm going to be cutting my board. So again, the three steps are left and right movement, rotating, and rotating the laser itself. I've installed the Accu Wedge on my bandsaw, and now I'm ready to make a segmented disc. This segment, this is going to have 18 segments per ring, and the outside diameter is going to be 4 inches. So I know based on that calculation, the outside length of my segment should be 0 0.71 inches. So I've taken my board, and I put a line at 0 0.71 inches. I already made my first cut on the board, so now I'll put this back in the bandsaw, on the Accu Wedge, and I'll line the laser beam such that it just hits on the edge of that line. Adjust my stop. So I'll my board to be exactly the same length. And then we're ready to start cutting our wedges. And it's 7.708. Pretty close to 7.71. This shows you the advantage of using the system. You can actually measure uh, where, your, where your blade's going to cut. So I'll just continue cutting additional pieces until I have my ring completed. So after sanding off the fuzzies and cleaning up the edges, I have my completed disc exactly four inches in diameter. I've installed the Accu slot on my bandsaw, which produces Celtic ring patterns, and I'm ready to make some Celtic rings in this piece of walnut so I can mount it on my system. Now it makes this just so nice, I got my laser beam on. I know exactly where my blade's going to be, so I can make sure I don't cut into my clamps. So I can cut clamp just to the outside of that laser mark, and I know I'll never cut into my clamps. Clamp the board down, and I'm all ready to cut. So what makes this laser being nice is when I want to cut the opposite angle, I can make sure it aligns perfectly in the middle. Or even better than that, if I wanted to cut some, some 
slots at a different angle. I could align my beam to just miss it. This piece of wood shows a project I'll be working on to create a star pattern of Celtic rings where I'm going to be cutting three slices through the board at different angles, all meeting exactly in the center. And I've attached a, a laser marker to the system to plot my path of my bandsaw blade, and then I'll clamp these in place, and this is how the hacking slot will cut a piece of wood. And that's a completed cut through the board where it went almost the whole way through. And I'll get a piece of walnut uh, insert, glue it in there, sand it, rotate this board 90 degrees, repeat the cut, and do that three more times to complete that ring on all four sides of the board. Then I'll change the angle and repeat the cut to do the other uh, two slices on all four sides. Using the bandsaw laser, I was able to perfectly align all the angle cuts on the board so that they all intersected exactly in the middle of the board as planned. After gluing in the walnut inserts and turning on the lathe, this is the finished Celtic ring project.